Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression. So the first thing I'm going to do is split this up into two separate fractions. And the way this is going to work comes from this uh, rule or principle, whatever you want to call it, where if you have a plus b in the numerator and it's divided by c, we can split it up into two fractions like this. And we can see that we have common denominators, which allows us to add, or in this case, subtract the numerator terms. So this is what I have after I have that split up. Now I can look at each of these and see that here I've got a negative 64 divided by 8. And what is negative 64 divided by 8? Well, that would give me a negative 8. Then let's look at u to the power of 8 divided by u. Well, u in the denominator has a power of 1, which means that this is u to the power of 8 minus 1, which would give us u to the power of 7 now. And the nice thing about the t's, we have a t squared divided by t squared, which means they would cancel out. And this would be our first term in the expression. Now on the other hand, and this is still minus in between these, I've got this 56 eighths, or 56 divided by 8, I should say. And 56 divided by 8 would give me 7. Now, the order of the variables here is, is off a little bit. But that doesn't make a difference because it's multiplication, and we can move them around if we need to. So I can compare the u's directly. For example, I have u to the power of 7 divided by u, which would be to the power of 1. And that would give me u to the power of 7 minus 1, according to our exponent rules. And that would give me, then, u to the power of 6. <clears throat> and in addition to that, we have 7 to the power of 4 divided by... I said 7, I meant t t to the power of 4 divided by t to the power of 2, which is t to the power of 4 minus 2, and that would give us t to the power of 2 here. And this would be the fully simplified expression.